I finally got the digital VT320 terminal set up. I got some uh, connectors at our local electronics distributor, and I was amazed at how good a price I had on it. Got some 25 pin and some 9 pin. And I found out the pin out for hooking up the serial cable. I found that on the on the World Wide Web and just wrote it down here. But I used uh, some Cat5 cable to go to the Gateway 2000 Linux computer in the bedroom. I just kind of got the cable running on the floor now. I'll get it set up better here. I just wanted to do a test on it. Here's the digital uh, converter here. It just goes from the from the 25-pin uh, connector down to the little digital phone type connector. And on the back of the VT320 are just uh, two of these. One's for the uh, the printer and the other's for the network connection. And this was made in 1989, August 25th. But that's kind of an unusual connector. I'm glad there were some uh, of the proper connectors with it so I could get it hooked up because it doesn't have the usual type of connector on it. Let's go ahead and do a demonstration here of the VT320. Here's a close-up of the keyboard. Still a little dusty as it was out in the barn. I vacuumed it, but need to do a little more uh, cleaning on it. Okay, and I'll try and do an actual demonstration of the screen of the VT320. We're logged into the audio playback computer, so go ahead and go ahead and give it a command here. We'll use the A command to advance in the playlist. The time is 45 minutes past the hour. Temperature 78 at 2016. Let's see, let's give it a little more volume. Yeah, let's see, I think I want a different song. That one's pretty good. zoom out a little bit and we'll try some uh, World Wide Web browsing with Google. This really uh, takes me back to the first time I ever used the uh, internet. I was even before the World Wide Web. I would use Usenet and uh, email. But I've got the G command program to go to Google. Links www.google.com And here's Google on the VT320. One of the things I've been looking at recently has been uh, medieval recipes. There's some sites I find that find that interesting, and there's some sites that have uh, a good collection of how uh, dining was in the Middle Ages. So let's let's query it on medieval recipes. Now this is at 9600 baud. I might be able to get a higher baud rate, but. Let's just see here. But for, for anyone who hasn't used this, it may look kind of odd, but this is how it was before the graphical uh, World Wide Web was commonplace, like using Gopher servers and things like that. But you just use the arrow keys or the space bar to go down. Let's see if I can access this side here. And for looking at things like recipes, it just it does just as good as uh, as graphical based browsers. You really don't need the graphics to read, to read text. But look at look at how the text comes comes up there. But I think the CRT on this is a little weak. 
So I've got it set, got it set up to uh, use the color background or the, the uh, amber background with black text. Because if I use the the lit text on a black background, it's just not bright enough. Maybe once I use this a little bit, maybe the CRT will rejuvenate itself a little. But I don't don't hold over great hopes for much rejuvenation because it probably had just been used for many hours. So I'll go ahead and uh, just disconnect from the website here. And I can stop the music with the S command, or play it with the play command. 